well, was that an experience or what? My goodness. So, it's probably, probably since the whole corona thing started, um, my wife and I have not gone out to eat. We have done takeout, but never out to eat. Well, we decided to go out to eat because we have a gift card for Haas's. And the Haas's that I grew up going to shut down for good. So we thought we better spend this gift card. We tried to do takeout. Every time we called, it would ring, someone would answer, and hang up right away before we could even talk. This went on for days and days. So apparently they just didn't want to deal with it. Well, we decide, okay, we're going to go in. We're going to see how this is. So we go. We drive there. We got our gift card. I always bring money just in case. We go. We walk to the door. The door says face masks are required to enter. Without face masks, you cannot be allowed to enter. Okay, no problem. We put on our face masks just like so. Yep, this is how I wear my mask. It, it, it does a job, right? Just kidding. Face mask. Cover both your mouth and your face. Woo! All right. We put the mask on. <clears throat> we both go in. Walk in like normal. The hostess is there with a nice mask on. Table or booth? We always pick a booth because a booth is my favorite. I don't really like sitting at their cheap really really cheap nasty tables the booths are much nicer so we pick the booth cool we walk in we go sit down when you're sitting you do not have to wear a mask um, but if you get up to go get food or bathroom or anything else you have to wear a mask okay well they have something new this time apparently so our experience is we go we sit down we place our order the menu is very limited um, I overhear one of the waitresses telling a customer on the phone, so apparently now they're answering their phones. Hmm. Odd. So I heard a waitress tell the person on the phone that we just need to let you know that if you order the steak, the steak is outdated um, because of everything going on. Their steaks are, what would she say, fresh, but they're outdated because they've been in the freezer for too long and they can't get new ones in which I think was just an excuse I think they were just saying that because um, yeah they're not doing really well in fact a lot of businesses are not doing well a lot of businesses are going to be shut down do not let the stock market fool you do not let these people fool you thinking that the economy is all great and we're all sunshine and rainbows no the only reason the economy is still afloat and not down in the Great Depression era is because they passed that stimulus check. People have been spending that. They're supposed to be spending it on bills and stuff or saving it, but they're spending it. Blowing it all away like it's the end of the world. Well, it could be. So, yeah, heard them on the phone and I was like, oh my gosh, well, I'm definitely not getting the steak. Even though I don't really care, um, stuff in our freezer probably outdated for six months and I'll still eat it because I like to save money that way well so heard them on the phone I decided that I'm gonna get after the lady told us what they have she said you could get the soup and salad bar for I forget what the price was and you get a burger for like a dollar ninety nine so I went with that route my wife went with chicken parmesan and noodles or something like that Okay, so to go up to the food and salad bar, you walk up, you have to put hand sanitizer on your hand, you have to have your mask on, or else you cannot go to the food bar. Um, so we got our masks on, you got to do the hand sanitizer, and then you have to put on these latex gloves. Well, they weren't, no, they weren't even latex, they were like plastic, a really cheap plastic, not even, not, I wouldn't even say they're like the uh, grocery plastic, you know, the grocery bags. These, this was a see-through plastic that looked about as cheap as China could make. Okay, well, we put them on. Anyway, you know, when you're pulling it on, they half rip anyway. So stupid. So we go up to the food bar, and there's a lot of stuff missing. Um, they had plenty of soups, but a lot of stuff was missing. I did notice the salad looked, had some brown on it, looked old. Still went, got salad, everything, blah, blah, blah. Went through the whole motion, you know. Once you put your food down, you go take the 
glove off. We took the glove off and we started eating. Great. Everything's good. Um, you know, it's, it's all right. You know, it's, you know, it's Haas's food. It's not the best, but it's not the worst. Well, then we get our hot food. I get the burger. Um, the burger itself, the meat, I'm not quite sure what it was, but it wasn't the regular burgers that they normally have. This looked really cheap. It was extremely greasy. Like, have you ever had a McDonald's um, steak, egg, and cheese bagel? If you squeeze it and the grease drips, that was like this burger. Okay, so that was kind of gross. The bun was definitely not that tasty. Um, yeah, so it was definitely a dollar ninety-nine burger, and they weren't afraid to show that. Um, so it was all right. My wife's had two little pieces of chicken with a ton of sauce and cheese covering it to make it look bigger than it was. Um, yeah, so, okay, Haas's food, you kind of expect that, you know, it's not the greatest, it's not the worst. So, get this. Get this. So, my wife and I, the gift card we had, we personally purchased this gift card. We put Haas's in December, Christmas time, they were having a deal buy fifty dollars worth of gift cards and get ten dollars free so we thought hey this is a good opportunity because like a lot of people who think ahead if you go if you like going to your favorite restaurant and they have a deal like that you don't have to give the gift card to somebody else just simply go buy the gift card get a free ten dollars gift card well that's what we did and before this whole thing happened we used the ten dollar gift card well we still had the fifty dollar gift card okay great hand the gift card to the girl, goes back, she comes back and says, hey, you owe $2.79. Wait, 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 wait. That gift card has $50 on it and we did not use it. So, yeah. Um, me being who I am, I know 90% of the world would have said, oh, excuse me, that's not right. Me being the person, I don't like drama, I don't like conflict, I just, whatever, you know. When someone screws me over, scams me, that's the last I'm ever going to go there again. Um, and so I gave the two, $2, well, $3 I gave, and I just left, walked away. I wasn't going to say, well, hey, there should be $25 still left on the gift card. There sh should be this, you know, we have $50, you know, I purchased this. I wasn't going to fight them because, you know what, they're probably going to be under in a month or anyway um, because, yeah, they're they're hurting. I, I can't imagine they really break even after all the bills and paying, paying the employees, I, I can't imagine they're even breaking even. Um, so, you know, houses have been hurting for the last eight years anyway. They're not keeping up with the times. The food doesn't ever change. They try to change the whole sit down thing. That was just pointless because it didn't help them. So houses have been going downhill um, poor, it's poor management, to be honest with you. But we enjoyed going to Hostas because even though the food's meh, you know, it, it's good, but it's not. The food bar is still kind of, you know, just gives you an option of different soups and stuff, and that's kind of neat. So we enjoyed going to Hostas. Well, I'm not going to Hostas ever again after this. Um, after they scammed us $25, and she, she knew it. You know, when I gave her the card and she came back, when she came back in said you owe three dollars she's like y y you you uh, uh, like you could tell in her voice she couldn't look at me that she knew and the funny thing is the owner is working there and he t went back when i gave a gift card he went back with her so you know he said something hey look you know we don't charge you know say it's only 25 dollars or whatnot because they're hurting and you know I wanted to say something, but like I said, I'm not into the drama, and you know what? I truly believe that all things come full circle. Um, you know, I think people like that will get what they have coming to them, and they can then delay the inevitable, but if that's what they're doing to their customers, then they're going to lose. You know, I'm not going back there. If I do ever go back there, it might be once a year, and, you know, that's it. You know, we used to go every couple months, probably four to six times a year. Well, nope, if I ever go back, it'll be once a year. And mark my words, it'll be once a year. I won't, I won't give them the satisfaction. So right there, they just lost all that business from me. So um, yeah, that's my story about going to Haas's nice event. Um, you know, it's ridiculous. The way things are going is ridiculous. You know, I want to 
I could be mad at them, but to be quite honest, our governor is a joke. Our governor is a joke. He mandates all these laws that he's not allowed to do that have not been passed by Congress. Um, he's, he's a crooked, horrible, 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 crooked, 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 twisted, demented governor. And the people that he has working for him are just as crooked and horrible. Um, it's pathetic, you know. I'm not going to go into any more. I just can't stand him whatsoever. Um, you know, he's causing many businesses locally to close their doors, and he's really, really putting the hammer down. And get this, you know, um, the funny thing is because our state, especially our area, has a lot of senior citizen homes where most of the deaths are coming from, not even from the general public. I think the report was 87% of the deaths from COVID came from senior citizen homes. Um, and he's shutting down all these businesses. Hey, look, if someone's got a problem with catching COVID or 19, stay home. Don't go out. Okay? If you've got a problem with wearing masks or not wearing masks, stay home. Let the people who want to enjoy their lives go out and be able to eat shop, go where they want to go, support the small businesses, stop forcing people like me to be home or to, you know, be limited it, or not even to go to these places that we want to go. It's ridiculous. It's redunculous the way this governor is treating businesses. But guess what? His buddies that own cabinet shops are still in business. They haven't closed once through this whole thing, even though they he shut down everybody else. Pretty convenient that your competition gets shut down, but your buddy that has cabinet businesses and furniture stores are allowed to stay open. Hmm, it's pretty funny. Someone really should look into this guy. Anyway, that's my thoughts, you know. My other channel, I'm working on doing another channel that's completely away from this channel where I'm actually going to speak my mind. Um, and if people have a problem with it, you don't have to follow that channel. Um, I'll block you from that channel if you got a problem with my, what I have to say. But someone's got to start speaking out against fake things that are going on. Um, there's so many doctors that are coming out saying things. There's so many people are coming out. Um, but yeah, that's my hostess experience and it's ridiculous. Won't be going back there anytime in the near future. Being scammed is pretty... You know, if you're a business that you're going under, I guess that's how they see it. Oh, hey, let's just jip people wherever we can. Let's just jip them. Who really cares? We're, they won't be coming back. We'll be going under anyway. At least let's get our money while we can. So it's just, it's, it's ridiculous. But it is what it is. And like I said, I believe all things go, go full circle in the end. So... Alright guys, that is my story. Um, thank you for watching my video. Um, have a great day guys. Let me know, wh what have you encountered by going out in the public? Let me know your story. Leave a comment. You know, Have you encountered rude people? Have you encountered businesses stealing your money or something? Just let me know. I'd love to know. Take care guys.